Hey guys, I am about to do the Target bookshelf trend that I've been seeing on TikTok, but I want to show you all the stuff that I got first. That way you can like screenshot it. It'll also be linked in the description, but um, obviously I got the bookshelves from Target. They're really hard to find because it's so popular, but they they go out of stock and then they get shipments of it very often, so you don't have to worry about it. But for the closet rod, this is what I got. It's, I found this at Home Depot and you have to get the 18 to 30 inch one because the bookshelves aren't that wide. Because the screws are so long, I went and I got this size, this size for the screws to screw the um, rods into the shelves. That way I don't screw through the, sh the wall of the shelf. You'll see, you'll see. I'm gonna spray paint these black. And so I got the Rust-Oleum um, matte. It's like a semi-gloss. I wanted something with a satin finish, but I couldn't find satin. But then I realized that semi-gloss is basically the same as satin. These are the hangers that I have. I have all black hangers. I got these at Target. I think it's like $8 for a set of 10. First thing first is I'm going to take everything out of my closet and put it in the guest room. I need to clear everything out and then I'm going to unscrew my shelves that I currently have in the wall so that I can obviously put my shelves in. But then what I need to do is I need to patch up the holes from the previous screws that are in the wall. So I went to Lowe's and I got this drywall patch. It's for like filling holes that were in your wall and it's pink and then it dries white. And then I just got this little putty spatula to smooth over all the holes. I found this in the paint section at Lowe's. Sounds kind of counterintuitive, but I guess it makes sense. Anyways, it's in the paint section. I have this little sketch. Let me see if y'all can see. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. I have this little sketch that I made for how I want my closet to look. I want my accessories in the middle. And then I want like shirts, pants, and then like longer items. I don't know. Accessories are going to be in the middle. But yeah. So now let's show the before and get into the after. I don't know what I have my settings on. I think it was on this. So yeah. Perfect. Quick story time. I have two Letterman's, okay? I should have three, but I moved away from Texas before I could get my Texas Letterman. It's fine, but this one i this is for my sophomore year running varsity track when i was in maryland now we had two jasmines on the track team so they had to figure out a way to differentiate us so they called me tj tj stood for texas jasmine because i was the new kid from texas so it was just the easiest thing they could say so boom here's that boom aberdeen high school stand up <laughs> and then over here i have another letterman from when i lived in las vegas playing varsity volleyball and the name on this one is lil jazz because once again we had two jasmines on the team but the other jasmine was like six feet tall and i'm only five feet tall so of course she was big jazz and i was lil jazz so Boom, that's the quick story behind my letterman's. All right, everything is out of the closet so now I'm just going to unscrew everything from the wall um, I'm more of a hand tool person so I'm not gonna use a drill why you always lying? but depending on how long this takes I might end up learning how to use a drill today I 
think I'm gonna have to use a drill. they screwed these into like studs like they use a stud finder which is why it's so hard to unscrew these to bring in the reinforcements so lefty how do you know which way to put it A few moments later. All right, y'all, come here. These little things in the ball. Let me find it. Hold on. These little things in the ball. It looks like. You would use like a flathead at first, but no, you need pliers and you're gonna pull it out of the wall. I had to ask my friend, he didn't really know, he looked on YouTube, I looked on YouTube, I finally found a video that shows you how to remove these. You need pliers and you need to pull them. So you're just going to grip it, oh come on. This is so irritating and embarrassing. And pull it, pull it, pull it. This is ghetto. <sighs> pull it. Hopefully it was in frame. I would be so mad. All right. So I'm going to do that for the rest of these. And then I'm gonna come back. Okay, so this part is easier. You just kind of push it up. What now? You just push it up. There we go. I didn't knock some loose, child. Oh well. Okay, so I'm about to spackle the walls. So for these little holes that you see right here, like this, I just go through and just go like that. Tuck all the pieces that are kind of poking out, just kind of smooth it with my finger. And that way it looks flat and flush with the wall. And we're going to be very precise because I don't want it to be like too much. Okay, I'm in my backyard and I want to have four sections where there's stuff hanging so I have four sets of these rods. So I'm going to open one of these and just get started with everything. Now unfortunately the sun is like directly beaming 
in my backyard right now. So it's very hot. Now the tricky thing that I saw when it comes to this is getting these to stay standing up while you're spray painting them. So hopefully we don't really have much of an issue. I might go over there um, next to the grill. Yeah, and as a matter of fact, I'm gonna go change. I'm gonna put on a long sleeve shirt and some gloves. That way I can hold it and not have to worry about it. It's gonna be hot, but I need to protect myself, my skin, so. Cause it's sticking, it's standing up right now, but I just feel like once the spray paint is on it, it's gonna fall and everything, and that's gonna be very irritating to deal with. So let me go change and I'll be right back. Okay, I couldn't find my black shirt, so I'm just, <laughs> I put on a regular long sleeve and I put it on um, inside out because I like this shirt and I don't want to get paint on it. But I can't find my black shirt. I think it's in the laundry. It's in the washer machine. Okay, I have some gloves. Let me get the paint. Me in the outdoors, we don't get along. In the winter, yes, because there's no bugs. Everything's dead or everything's hibernating. And in the spring and summer, I'll be fighting for my life. Okay, I'm in my house and I kind of just set them all up by the fireplace. I don't know if you guys can see that, let me see. Okay, so that's better. Some of them are not none of them are perfect actually this one is probably one of the worst ones um but the ones that look the best i think i'm just going to put on the top and then the ones that look really bad i'm gonna put on the bottom but yeah i love the finish overall it still has a shine but it's not like it's like a semi-gloss exactly like how it's described so yeah, I think they turned out decent. If you're gonna do this, I definitely recommend doing this somewhere where there's no wind so that they don't fall over and get messed up. That's my only irritation with these is that they kept falling over. What's up guys? It is the next day. I already have one shelf put up, but when I was filming last night, the lighting was kind of bad because the sun went down. So I figured I'm gonna do this three times. I might as well just film again tomorrow. So what I've already done is I opened the box while I was downstairs and then I just bring the pieces up like piece by piece. I think I took like four trips bringing everything upstairs, but now I'm about to just Feel myself putting it all together my mom helped me last night a lot so before I I'm gonna I'm gonna give you guys the rundown okay and I think it was really good that I just didn't bother with the camera last night because it's a lot going on
Okay, so I don't know if you can see, but this little dot right here is where the stud is. This is also another stud. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep it in line with where that stud is. This one's a little too high, but I'm going to mark an area in line with the other one. See that? So that I can screw in the stud. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this bit to drill a hole through that way I can get my screw through the wall. So this is probably the most nerve wracking part for me because it's such a loud process. The good thing about this setup is that because this other shelf is next to it, I can just push it back flush against the wall without having to hold it. Cause last night we had to hold it against the wall while one of us screwed it. So let me just get to the point. My camera is about to die, so you might not see it see the full process but here we go change this to this so that I can screw the screw into the wall now th this next part is the loud part there's a washer also that comes with it so I'm just gonna scoop that out oh I hate this part <laughs> here we go make sure it's okay y'all I finished my second my second shelf I just realized the error first and foremost this was so hard to put on because I didn't I didn't think to do the most obvious part you can unscrew wow 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 now I can take out all these screws that came with it but yeah you can unscrew it and then screw it in screw it back in wherever you need it that would have made my life so much easier because I was trying to screw it in but this bar was in the way so it took me like 10 minutes per side to get these things like attached because I was struggling to turn the screwdriver don't be like me y'all also um, I was watching oh that's Mo she has a TikTok where she also did these and so I, I really liked how she did hers with like the black accent. So shout out to Oh That's Mo. But she also has a YouTube video. I didn't even know she had a YouTube video on how she did these. But I think the ones that she bought came black. So if you can find some that are already black, do it. But now I can show you guys how to do... the bottom shelf Ugh, i gotta lower y'all again hold on okay so now that i'm aware that i have to unscrew this first let me mark where i need everything to go i used a tape measure and i just marked on the tape measure where i need everything so this is how far down and then this one is how far across um, let me show you over here. I'll just show you. So I line this up with the edge. And... Sorry. 
sorry if my head is in the way. Right here is how far across. And then I go down to this second line. I just line it up with the edge. And then right here, so now I can do this again and make sure everything is boom. So where the lines intersect up here is where I will put the screw, like the screw. But now I can unscrew these and stop being goofy. I was wondering why I was struggling yesterday. side yeah I should have waited before I put this so let me unscrew this side is it I finished I finished okay let me show y'all and I have hangers on like random parts so that y'all can see that the hangers fit everywhere I got this bottom part okay now this this one was a situation I couldn't get it all the way over as close as this one is like at the bottom you can see it's a lot closer i still have to get all the dust so don't worry but this one the carpet i just could not get it to cooperate and then up there this was not cooperating i couldn't get it we couldn't get the screw all the way flush against the wall i don't know if you could tell and then i accidentally screwed all the way through on here so the screw on the top wouldn't tighten so that's my bad but it's secure enough to where it won't fall forward which is all I wanted so now I think I'm gonna do my next video will be with everything in it um, I'm gonna end this video here just because I'm tired and this was meant to be a tutorial anyway um here's a quick look at what it's looking like so far i have my bags i'm gonna put jewelry and perfume here more bags heels heels tennis shoes and then shoe boxes and then above this one i'm gonna put more shoe boxes and then over here i'm gonna probably put storage bins because i don't want it to look too junky so yeah and then that's the total look. I might just, I don't know. I'm, I'm still going to have stuff over here just because I have a lot of stuff and I don't have a lot of places to put it. But I like the way this looks so far. So yeah. The next video will be me actually showing you how I organized all my clothes. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comment them below. 
I also recommend going on TikTok, looking up a bunch of videos of that. I think I might still get some lights for my closet, like some little remote control lights. I feel like that makes it look really cute. And I found some on Amazon. It's like a pack of six for like 20 something dollars. So I think I'm gonna get that. But yeah, this is my 17th time saying bye. So bye for real this time.